Hi guys, Bea here. Today I will show you in this tutorial how to design and set up your blog in WordPress using Themes Generator. What I'm going to show you is how to show your latest post, your recent post on your homepage. If you've got interesting content on your blog and you want to drive traffic to your post, then it will be a good idea to show your recent post on your homepage. What we're going to do in what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to modify a premium template. It's called Museum, it's the one that you're seeing right now. So I'm going to modify this template so I can drag the latest post block here in Themes Generator and export it whenever I'm done and bring it into our WordPress, okay? Remember that Themes Generator is constantly improving and adding new features like this one, for example. And whenever a new feature is added, we'll always publish a video. So if you don't want to miss any of these updates, then remember to subscribe to this channel. OK, great. So first thing you got to do is design your own template. And as I said before, I'm using one of our premium themes and I'm going to place the latest post block in two different places okay so you will see the different effects that you will get if you use this block um first thing i'm going to add a block here and another one here so there will be like two columns all right um for this is i'm just going to get rid of this text so i just have the box and get rid of this image i'm going to click this box here and i know that the layout it's 55 percent, so i just want these two columns to be equal 50 50 i'm going to click on this one over here now it's 45 percent and click on 50. and here in the first tab the basic tab you will find the block latest pause so i'm just going to drag it out and bring it into this first column an assistant will pop up whenever you drag this so you can close it or say don't show again i'm just going to close this i'm going to drag this other block to the next column and I'm just going to scroll down and here this parallax background effect that we've got, I'm going to get rid of the text. And same thing, I'm going to drag out latest post here. OK, so now we don't need to do anything else here. So in Themes Generator, you're just going to place wherever you want the block. The rest will be done in WordPress and WordPress Customizer. You can continue designing your site and whenever you're done, whenever you're happy with the result, what you're going to do is you're going to export it into WordPress and then we're going to install this theme. OK, so if you want to export the same thing, click on this button and click on export WordPress theme. Remember that to install your theme, you have to click on Appearance Themes Add New. So you just upload the file from your computer. OK, also remember to activate it. That's what I'm going to do right now. And now we can visit this site. So I'm going to open the link in a new tab. So let's see what we get. And I'm going to scroll down. So you guys see these are the blocks that I've placed. And it indicates that we should go to Customize. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to click on Customize. So I'm going to scroll down. And here I have the blocks so just in case you don't know which is number block number one two and three i know the blocks here and i know the the order how i place them i know this one is number one and two and three but if not it just click on the edit button and it will take you there okay or if not just here you can see latest post blocks one two and three okay so i'm going to open number one and i will show you what we can do here if you already have a blog, I'm sure your posts are in different categories. So here you can choose which category you want to show or if you want to show all. So I'm going to choose just here this category here, digital marketing. And over here in number two, I'm going to select web design. OK, so we have both of them here. First, I'm going to do these two blocks and then I will move to the parallax. OK, um, going back to block number one. So 
you can start editing the top and bottom padding right now there's five so just as you guys see if you want more space wait i'm going to make it a bit more drastic i say 50 pixels as you see this is like lowering down i don't think that much is needed so i'm just going to leave five you can do the same with the left and right padding okay oh i'm going to show let's make it a bit more drastic too and add 50. as you see we've got 50 pixels on the left and on the right let's go back to 20 which i think it's okay here and also description margin right now is 20 let's bring it up to 40. so you see the, it adds also some margin um true it's just too much so i want to show you and play around a little bit so you, you know what options you've got and the pass count i'm going to leave it two so just want the two last pause that i've written and are in these categories then then automatically they will show so i'm just going to leave the pause count in two and the thumbnail weave when you upload your feature image this image already has a size so i would keep that proportion so here's where you should type the size so i'm just going to maybe bring it up a little bit the size so you guys see a little bit how this looks say sorry 160 and 120 let's continue for the title size right now it's 26 pixels so let's say how it looks with 36 it's gonna be huge not recommended <laughs> let's bring it down I think 24 also description size um 18 looks huge too i'm gonna leave it 14. You also have the options to choose the colors, different colors. Might use this one over here as the post title and post description. It's a dark gray. Let's make it a little bit lighter like that. And also the font family. Um, I'll leave. this one so if you want this to look good then i would copy these same settings to the other column so so that's what i'm going to do now so i'm just going to fast forward this part because you've already seen how to do this and when i'm finished then we're going to the section below i'm done copying the same settings so just to save this design i'm just going to click on publish so everything is saved um i'm going to exit a minute so you see how this section looks, right? Um, going back to customize and I'm going back to the third block, which is this one over here. Wait, I'm gonna scroll down so you just see. Okay, so let's go to block number three and here I'm gonna choose that I want to show all the categories. Okay, so here I have them all. There's a lot of editing to do here. I'm gonna leave the top padding as it is it, if, even if you hear at a title like the latest post title it will look really nice too um leave the padding and also the description margin post count i'll leave say five is okay too okay let's leave five thumbnail I'm just gonna modify it so it's exactly the same as the one on top also the title size and the description size that's how i'm going to change it so here i'm going to change the post title let's see if something like before would look nice okay so you can actually see it and the post description has to be something lighter like this gray Okay, this is looking better, so much better, and also change the font family so it looks similar to it. Okay, also as you see, there is this hover effect whenever you scroll on top of the pause. Right, um, same thing, I'm going to click on publish so this section is saved. 
I'm going to close the customizer. So let's scroll down and see how our latest post looks. This needs some editing too. So one thing I want to do here is go to main options and here I'm going to change the pause excerpt length. So right now it's 55 and I'm going to select 35 words and I think this looks better. Yes, it does look better. So let's publish this and I'm going to close the customizer. Great. So I'm going to scroll down and see how it looks. It looks pretty, pretty good scroll down again so about this block here i want to show you something um let's say i'm going to go to customize first so if you ever feel tempted to add some padding here in the customizer i'm going back to block three here so if you feel tempted to add more padding here in the customizer to make this block a bit smaller this won't be a good idea 20 20 pixels is okay 25 is okay is maybe 30 i'll say the tops but i wouldn't add more because um if you preview this in a mobile then you also have this padding so if you add something as sorry let's say 100 pixels you get 100 pixels on both sides but you'll also get this on mobile so you'll basically see nothing it'll just be something really really narrow really small so that's why this is not a good idea so if you want to center this block what you have to do in theme generator you have to add a container um probably with a fixed width and you can center it so then you can add this block inside there all right so here it's okay if you add like 20 25 i'm going to add 25 pixels to left and right padding um you won't see much changes here but if you want to fix this here is not a good idea okay so i'm just going to publish this and close the customizer again as you see it's pretty easy to add a latest post block on your home page using theme generator we're constantly updating with theme generator with new features new templates and we publish all these new stuff here in this youtube channel so if you don't want to miss any of this video or other cool tutorials then don't forget to subscribe to the channel you can also ring the bell so you get notified whenever a video is out thank you guys for watching